was an organ donor, and Dr. Russell told me that you signed the consent form that allowed me to have his heart. Oh, yes. Oh, that night was such a blur, I only remember parts of it. He didn't get a piece of Timmy, too, did he? No. No. Because of my heart transplant, I lived to see this day. Well, Miguel's asked me to marry him, and I said yes. Oh, Hecuba was right. Uh, I'll be walking down the aisle soon because of you. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, well, I, I never stopped to think that... You having Timmy's heart would mean that you would be able to marry Miguel, be a, a wife to him in every way. Don't lose your resolve now, Tabitha. We're here to torpedo the wedding, remember? I love you, Miguel, with, with all of my heart. I've always loved you. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I love you too, Kay. I mean, we've, we've been best friends since we were kids. You know, I, I trust you with no, my life. No, no, Miguel, you're, you're still not listening to me, okay? Because I don't, I don't love you the way you love a best friend. I love you the way a woman loves a man. Miguel, I'm in love with you. I've been in love with you for as long as I can remember. It's really not your place to go to the hospital with Ethan. Yes, it is. In case you've forgotten, Ethan chose to be with me, not you. No. You're mistaken. The hell I am. Then why did Ethan buy this for me? The engagement ring? No, he, he wouldn't. But he did. And he is such a romantic. He bought this ring in the same shop. He bought me my first engagement ring. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Why would Ethan buy you an engagement ring? It's simple. I win and you lose. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to the hospital with my fiancé. Come sit down and relax. You've saved enough lives for one day. The dust just got to me, that's all. Well, you know what? I still want Dr. Russell to give you a quick checkup. Hey. Only you can cure what ails me, Sharon. No. Thank God. You're here at the crane building. The, the elevator crashed but didn't fall all the way to the basement, so, so you are alive. Stop this, Casey. You want to spend the rest of your life in prison? What is wrong? Why is my mother yelling? Your pops has given Julian exactly what he deserves for taking advantage of you when you were trapped in the elevator. Chad, help me! No, no. This is... No, no. Help me. Daddy, no! Get your hands off! Get the hell going on here! No, Daddy, you're wrong! What are you 
talking about? You are wrong. He was not trying to take advantage of me. He was trying to shield me from all the falling glass and debris. He was? Yes, Mom. Oh, God. Mr. Crane, I'm so sorry. I know that you weren't trying to hurt me. It's okay. Taken in by her. Listen to me. She'll be the end of you if you don't get rid of her. Be quiet. Tabitha, is something wrong? Oh, oh, no, dear. This, uh, this new doll, Connie, uh, her hair was tickling me. <clears throat> Thank you again, Tabitha. You've given me the gift of life. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Do you hear me, Miguel? I love you. I loved you for my whole life. You have no idea what a relief it is to finally just be able to say that to you because I've been holding it in for so long. I love you, okay? I love you. I didn't know, okay? I swear, I had no idea. Miguel, how could you not have seen it? How could you not have seen what you meant to me all these years? Wasn't I always there for you when you needed it? Didn't I always listen to you and comfort you when you needed it? I didn't know. I knew I always had the best friend a guy could ask for, but I just never thought, you know... I really didn't know, Kay. I am so sorry. I don't think you wanted to see it, Miguel. Because you're not blind. And you're not insensitive. I think you knew all along. You just like keeping me around just in case things didn't work N out with no, you and Charity. No, no, no. That is not true, okay? Okay, I would never do that to anybody. You have got to believe me. Okay, I never led you on. Never. Tabitha, are you sure you're all right? Yes, uh, this is too difficult for me. I'm sorry I can't stay. I wonder what got her so upset. I hope it wasn't what I said. I just wanted to tell her how grateful I am. I guess she's not used to people being so nice to her. Most people think that she's lonely, they treat her that way. I know. Well, I just think she's the sweetest, most dear thing in the whole world. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Have you gone completely senile? Have you forgotten what will happen to you if Charity and Miguel get together and make love? I know, I know. Her powers of goodness will come into full force. Right, and we'll be as good as dead. So we're here to destroy Charity and Miguel. Don't go all soft and gooey on me now. I simply can't help it. My Demi's heart is beating in Charity's chest. I can't destroy Charity. Now it'd be like having Timmy up all over again. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't. Okay, hey, hey. Why? Look, I feel terrible, all right? If I led you on, I'm sorry, okay? I never meant to, honestly. You've got to believe me. How, what, what, what does that mean? What's making love to me? How is that not leading me on? I, I thought that you were charity. Miguel, how, how is that possible? Look at me. Do I look like charity? No, okay, but that night, you did. You told me you loved me, Miguel. Me, not her. I, 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 don't, I don't know how it happened. Okay, but something strange was going on. Some, something that made me see charity instead of you. When you said you loved me to me that night, I believed you. I thought all of my dreams were coming true, Miguel. And then you turn around and you tell me that you thought I was someone else. Am I my cousin, Charity? How do you think that makes me feel? I know that it must hurt. And I would do anything if it didn't happen. But I can't lie to you and say that I wanted to be making love to you. 
we must enjoy hurting me like this, Miguel, because that night when we made love, that was the most special night of my life. I gave you my virginity, Miguel. I know. And I'm so sorry. But it was a huge mistake. It must have been some kind of black magic or the work of the devil or Seth, something. Thanks a lot, Miguel. I tell you that it's my most special night, and you tell me that, that I'm evil. No, no, I'm not saying that you're evil. Yes, you are, Miguel. I mean, you did accuse me of somehow being responsible for what happened. I wanted to die. I am so sorry. I never meant to hurt you this way. Oh, Miguel, can you even imagine how I'm feeling right now? I have loved you since I was a little girl. And now you're telling me that us making love was a huge mistake? I have like a knife in my heart, Miguel. And I think it's so stupid. The word No, it. no, Kay, Kay, you are none of those things, okay? You know, Miguel, you've been so worried about how she's gonna take this news, right? Did you? ever even worry about me and did you even stop to think about how i was feeling you didn't did you miguel no one does not you not my mom not anyone david we can't do this it's just, it's just not right I'm sorry to put you in this situation, but I love you. Don't say that. Would you just... I want nothing more than to hold you in my arms. My wife. I want to kiss you. I want to make love to you. You have to stop saying these things. Why? I can't help it. I love you. God, I feel like I'm going to explode. Look... I know I am bound to you by marriage, and I have feelings for you. But I, I'm not going to lie to you. I love Sam. He is the love of my life. I was once the love of your life, Grace. I believe that. And God help me, because I don't know how this is happening, but... I have feelings for you that I have only felt for Sam. It's hard to cause you any pain. Wait, I, I don't understand. I heard you in the elevator and you were yelling at Julian to stay back. Yes. Daddy, I was telling him to stay back away from the edge. The floor of the elevator was collapsing, and I almost fell out, but Julian grabbed me and saved me. He saved my life, Daddy. I don't believe that. Julian never saved anybody but himself. Well, he saved me, Luis, and I was afraid that he was going to die, too. That's why I was telling him to stay back away from the edge. That's all. Well, what about when his shirt is torn? Didn't you tear that defending yourself from him? No, Mom. He tore his shirt to make a bandage for me. I was bleeding. Honey, he actually saved your life? Yes. Mom, Daddy, I'm telling you, he was doing everything that he could to save us. Oh, my God. I can't get a pulse. He's not going to die. Can you please tell me he's not dead? thinking you're the most wonderful guy in the world and you think i'm the devil you will personify no no that is not true Miguel, yes it is i mean you told me that you thought i tricked you into making love to me you must think i'm evil to think that i would do that okay okay i don't think you're evil okay i don't know why but i swear i i, I thought that you were charity Miguel, when... 
When you made love to me that night, I thought that you finally realized that you loved me. I thought that you'd finally forget about charity. No, oh, okay. I could never forget about charity. I'm gonna marry her. I see the sense of it, but I can't kill Charity. It would be killing Timmy's heart, and I can't do that. I can't. Okay, but think about this. Who destroyed Timmy in the first place? It was Charity. She's the one who caused him to die. If it weren't for that goody two-shoes in there, your Timmy would still be alive and well. Quick, I need your stethoscope. Here you go. Okay, I got a pulse. It's weak and it's thready, but he's alive. Oh, thank God. Do you have room for another gurney? This man needs to go to the hospital. No problem, doctor. We'll come back for him after we load this one. Quinn, why aren't you going to the hospital with Ethan? I'm not sure I should. Teresa said that Ethan gave her an engagement ring. What? Oh, come on, I don't believe that. Neither did I, but she showed it to me. I thought you and Ethan were back together, though. So did I. We even went engagement ring shopping. You know, not to buy, just daydreaming. I don't know why he would give Teresa a ring, then. Neither do I. But, I mean, I'm not going to go somewhere I'm not wanted. I mean, if Ethan gave it to her, I guess he must have just changed his mind. And I'm not going to be pathetic hanging on to something that's just not going to happen for me. And Ethan loves you. He chose you. I don't think you should give up this easily. You know, I don't want know what's going on in his head, but I think you should go make sure he's all right before you do anything rash. You think I should? Absolutely. And stay as close to him as possible until Ethan tells you himself that he wants to marry Teresa. Okay. To make sure he's all right. <laughs> all right. Good. So I'll talk to you later. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Are you doing okay? I hope so. How are you doing? I'm fine. I just want to finish what we started today. What we started? Yeah, I want us to get in the car right now, and I want us to drive back up to the country and get married. There's no way that's going to happen. No. Just what I said. There's no way that you two are going to the country tonight. I think what Luis means is it's late, and it's been a long, exhausting day for everyone. He probably just thinks that you should go home and get some rest, right, Luis? Well, I think he's right. I think we should all just go home and get some rest. All right, well, I must say that I am pretty tired, but this is not the way that I wanted our day to end. You and I are supposed to be on our honeymoon now. Can you forgive me? Of course I'll forgive you. I'm exhausted too. I, I just want to go home and get some sleep. Good. I'll drive you guys home. Right, I'll be right over. I'm gonna go find Grace. Sam! Your wife is in love with another man. Why do you want to hurt yourself by going to see them together? She doesn't love him, okay? I know, Grace. And if she said, I love you too, she meant... She meant that she cares about the guy. But she's not in love with him. How can you be sure? Because I told you, I know my wife. Eventually she'll realize that whatever she's feeling right now isn't love. David thinks that the two of them are married, and I, I know he loves her very much. She's just feeling sorry for him. God, I shouldn't have been so hard on her. If anything, I pushed him, pushed her right into David's arms. Oh, stop being so noble, Sam, and, and stop being so kind to of Grace. She has kicked you out of her bed, for God's sake. How in the hell do you know that? Sam, you know very well it's a small town. There are no secrets. 
don't believe this. Oh, Sam, think about it. A woman doesn't kick a man like you out of her bed unless she has a replacement in mind. Don't it's talk true. like that. A woman wouldn't kick a man she truly loves out of her bed. Oh, well, what about you? That's exactly what you did to me all those years ago. No, I had no choice. Oh, come My on. father sold me into a loveless marriage with Julian, and I regretted losing you every day. But, but now that Grace has David. There's no reason we can't be together. I love you, Sam. I have always loved you. You are my true love, my first love. You are the father of my firstborn child. I, I, I believe that you love me. And I am sorry. I am truly sorry that you've had to live like this. But it doesn't change the way I feel about Grace. Grace has David. I told you she does not love him. Sam, I am in this chair because of my love for you. Doesn't that count for anything? Oh my God, of course it does. I would never be able to repay you for your sacrifice. Ivy, I... I have to... Look, I have to work things out with my wife. She's not your wife, Sam. She's David's wife. I intend to make sure it stays that way. Look, I should go. I'm, I'm sure Sam wonders what happened to me. I love you, Grace. God, why do you have to keep saying that? Why, why can't you just say that you hate me? That you despise me for moving on with Sam? You know, that would just make it so much easier. Because I don't hate you. I never got over you when you disappeared. I never got over you, period. I never gave up on us. Get this one to number three. I'll see Julian. Wait, wait, no, Dr. So please, can you just check Ethan first? I mean, he may have some internal injuries. Yes, but... All right. All right, nurse, would you start Mr. Crane on an IV? I'll be in as soon as I can. Right, Dr. Russell. Right. Come on. fingers am I holding up? Two. Very good. Okay. And do you feel any pain anywhere? No. I'm just sore. Not really painful. Great. Well, I'm gonna take some x-rays and do a blood panel, but I think you lucked out there, Ethan. <laughs> you survived that fall and a severe electric shock. I think somebody up there likes you. Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, I'm going to send in a nurse to start those tests and go see what I can do for Julian. So Ethan's okay? I think he's going to be fine. Thanks, Dr. Russell. Hey. I should thank you for saving my life. They said that you jumped on top of the elevator. When I was knocked out cold, you risked your life to save mine. I can't kind of thank you. It's fate. God gave me the strength to save you. So we could spend the rest of our lives together, Ethan. pocket in, in my office earlier. Do you mind if I put it on? I 
wonder which one Ethan's in. I think he's got one broken rib, maybe two. I just hope his lung hasn't been punctured. Nurse, I want you to get him to x-ray as soon as you can. Yes, Doctor. But he's going to be all right, isn't he, Mom? I mean, he has to be. He saved my life. We'll see, sweetie. I never thought that I would say this before, but he was like a completely different man in that elevator. Maybe being so close to death changed him. I don't believe that for a moment. Leopards don't change their spots. I don't believe it either. But it's true. I told you. He was actually trying to calm me down. He was protecting me from all that glass and falling debris. I mean, he was almost fatherly to me. He even told me a sad story about his first love. I mean, he loved this woman so much, but his father made him give her up because he didn't approve of it. He's regretted it every day since. Well, whoever she was, she should be lucky she's away from him. Well, I don't know, Daddy. He seemed genuinely sad. He loved that woman very much. He even said that she was a singer and had a beautiful voice. If Timmy hadn't gone off to find the demon's worn to save Charity, your beloved Timmy would be in your arms right now. And you wouldn't have had to make me. I didn't make you. Zombie made you. I never wanted any part of you. Well, la-di-da, whatever. Charity cost you the most important person in your life. You're right. I suppose she should pay for taking my precious Timmy away from me. So what are you going to do about it? destroy her. We have to destroy Charity. <laughs> now you're talking. Way to go, Tabitha. You know, I can't believe you're actually going to marry Charity. What am I supposed to do? How can I just watch you go off and marry her, Miguel? I love you so much. I can't live without you. You stay here and keep your ears and eyes open. Gotcha. Um, hello again. Tabitha, are you okay? Yes, sir. I'm sorry I fell apart like that. I just needed a few moments to collect myself. I'm glad you're feeling better. Me too. Charity, dear, it just occurred to me that if you intend to walk down the aisle with Miguel anytime soon, shouldn't you be trying to get your strength back? Get on your feet? Yeah, um, Dr. Russell said I should try to get up as much as possible, so I, I figure when Miguel comes back, I'll have him help me get up and to my feet. Oh, but why wait? I'd be happy to help you take a stroll down the corridor. <laughs> and wouldn't Miguel be surprised? <laughs> okay, thank you. I can help too. Oh, good idea, Simone. Okay. Come on. <gasps> Careful now. Mm -hmm. Antonio, you're white as a sheep. Why don't you go lie down? I guess all that Superman stuff today, so soon after my car crash, wasn't a good idea. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, Luis, thanks for driving us home. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? I, you know what? Why don't you stay for some tea? I'll, I'll make us all some tea. Uh, yeah. Tea sounds like a great idea. I'm just gonna go into the shower, wake up a little bit, okay? Good idea. No, I can't stand this anymore, okay? I'm not gonna let you walk down the aisle with my brother. I just can't do it. I, I know, today was a very difficult day for all of us. All right, fine, then we gotta think of something. Shouldn't I love you too much? I love you too much to, to let this farce go on. Sheridan, can you come in here? I'll be right there. I'm so sorry. Antonio? I'm in here. Hey, come on in, the water's fine. We can't do this now. Louise is still here. It's all right. He'll understand. 
Come on, take the clothes off and get in here. It's been so long since we've been alone together. Hey, come on, you're getting me all wet. Oh, well, that's the whole idea, isn't it? <laughs> come on, stop it. Well, stop this? <laughs> I'm so sorry that it ended this way, Kay. I honestly never meant to hurt you. Miguel. Will you please give me one last kiss goodbye? Please. this happened. I was a happily married woman in love with my husband. At least the man I thought was my husband. I mean, my life was full. I was content with what I had. Yeah, and then I came on. Yes. And it wasn't like you tried to steal me away from Sam. You were nothing but kind and honest and gentle. And I can't stop thinking about you. And I don't know how it happened because Sam is the love of my life. But somehow you have gotten under my skin and I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I'm sorry to be in such a difficult situation. Such an impossible situation. I don't want to do anything to hurt you. I just love you so much. Mr. Crane told me that his life was never the same after he lost the woman he loved. I mean, he was almost pitiful when he was telling me how much he regretted ever letting her go. Sweetheart, this is Julian Crane we're talking about. He never gave a damn about anybody but himself. I know that's what you've always told me, Daddy. But I'm telling you, he was different tonight. Ethan. I'm so excited that, that we're going to start over, that we're going to start fresh again. And this time I know that we are going to be so happy together. Teresa, I have to tell you something. Yes, Ethan. This isn't easy. The ring, I didn't buy it for you. I bought it for Gwen. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, now, look what you've done. You've, you've got my clothes all soaked. Well, I told you that was the whole idea, so take them off and get in here. Look, you behave yourself. We, we can't do this now. Louisa's still here. Do you know, I'm just, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to make some tea. All right, you know what? You're such a party keeper. <laughs> you behave. I'm leaving. Don't you want to stay? Have some tea? No. Oh, come on, Luis, don't be mad. Look, 
Antonio was in the shower. He just, he got me a little damp. That's all. It's no big deal. Do you really believe that? Yes, of course I do. Now, please, just come and sit back down, okay? Come on. No. You know, I, I can't take any more of this, all right? And this is just way too hard. Look, I know it's hard. It's hard for me, too. Well, I don't think it is. You, you made it pretty damn clear the way you feel today. You all set to marry my brother, and you would have were not for Liz and her phony little appendicitis attack. Well, not to mention the emergency at the crane building. The important thing is that I did avoid the wedding. No, the important thing is that when we got to the crane building, I got to see that your only concern was for Antonio and whether or not he was okay. You know, you didn't even give a damn about me. Are you kidding me? That is not true. I was terrified that you were going to get hurt. That's not the way you acted. You know, just now, we're in the middle of an important conversation, and the minute my brother calls, you got to run off to see if he's okay. Let's forget it, all right? You know, it's obvious that you've chosen him. I'm leaving. It's over. <laughs>